So welcome, today we're going to be checking out a game called Hime's Quest for the uh, Game Boy Color, released by Limited Run and commissioned, I guess, by Crunchyroll, which is really cool, so let's check out this intro here. Don't really know what to expect, but I've heard that it's good. Also a little bit zoomed in. Hey Quang, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Haven't spoke to you in a while. Next week, or actually on Friday, the last part of my Wonder Swan video is coming out. So I have been playing a little bit more Judgment Silver Sword, which I've got on the desk right in front of me. And then, then you're free to have all your stuff back whenever we meet again. So I'm excited for that to go live. I've actually been collecting a load of games uh, on my own as well. So we got Magical Drop, got a few of the Digimon titles. Went on a bit of a buying spree because the yen was quite cheap, so I picked up loads to show off in the video. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not at Play Expo Blackpool because it's right in between EGX and MCM, but if you're going to either of those two, maybe. Anyway, let's get started here. File 1. Very nice Pokemon style graphics here. Also, I don't know what's going on with Twitch, but the followers are stopping right there. They should be they should be going across to the end of the screen, but that is not working for whatever reason. Anyway, never mind. Also, the battery for my lights is dying, so apologies if the lighting's a bit weird in this episode. Jimmy! He may look out the window. New crunchy New Crunchy City has been surrounded by a forest. You should go outside and take a look. Yeah, sure. I'll I'll be staying over for MCM as well, so we can meet up one evening if you want. That would be easier, actually, because I'll be in the car, so I can easily bring everything. Yeah, that sounds good. I'll send you a message. We can we can plan something for that weekend. Or on the Friday. That'd be good. You should go outside and take a look, eh, May? I'm on it. Not yet, though. Let's speak to it. Oh, nice! I actually got full eight directions. That's cool. Quite uncommon for a Game Boy game. Hime, are you okay? That thing came out of the DVD player was terrifying. The TV and DVD player are totally busted. I'm just glad everyone is safe. What was that evil looking thing? Looks like it caused a storm outside. Hime, you have to find out what's going on. For anime's sake! Oh my god, is this just gonna be full of weeb references? What just happened? My head is spinning even more than usual. Um, I believe it's made in GB Studio, but it looks like they've had a lot of uh, extra code on top of it. I'm not sure exactly, I wonder whether it says... It probably doesn't say on here, does it? It was created by a company called Poppy, or a person called Poppy. If that means anything to you. Uh, I wanted to watch the anime you brought, although this is kind of exciting. It's just like episode one of Wonderful TV Chan. If only Wonderful TV Chan was here to save the day. The TV and DVD player are fried. You can't watch anime until you replace them. Oh no. A forest you've never seen before stretches out as far as the horizon. Okay, I think that's everything we can interact with in here. Let's see if there's anything on the bookshelf. Right. Okay, let's head outside. Or oh, downstairs then. I like that the mat is just a, a smiley face. Oh, we're in a library? Okay. Feel free to read the books at your leisure. Can I actually read any of the books? Maybe just the one on the table. Let's see, who is this? This is Nicole, apparently. She doesn't have a face. Um, that thing that popped out the TV. It was so scary! I ran away down here. I want to go home. The book is titled On Kitsune Statues. Read it? Yes. Kitsune statues are said to bring prosperity and a good harvest. It is also said that they allow you to save and quit your game and heal yourself to full health just by resting nearby. Don't forget to save your game at a Kitsune statue whenever you can. Yeah, the music's awesome. How's the volume levels? Do they sound alright? I think I've got the settings right again so it slightly fades whenever I'm talking. 
I have my Mac on over there and it just made a really loud noise because I just got a notification on it. The magazine is titled Buttons. A pressing issue. Read it? Yes. Pressing the A button will allow you to interact with people and objects. It is rumoured that you can also swing swords by pressing the A button. The B button allows you to use items, but you have to find them first. The book is titled The Infantry and the Map. Read it? Yes. Volume seems good. Excellent. Pressing the start button allows you to open the inventory. And hello as well, Kim Kong. Thanks for joining the stream. Equip an item with the A button to exit the inventory. The select button opens the map. It fills out as you explore. Don't forget about the inventory and the map. There's the map. Can't see much yet, apart from a cute little cat in the corner. And there's the very Link's Awakening looking inventory screen. Now we are officially outside. Awesome. Very bright colours everywhere. Here, library. West, Hime and Sudachi's house. South, Itoi... Ito Sensei? Ito Sensei's house, coffee shop, apartments. East, train station. Okay, citizen. Yo, dude, there was this crazy storm earlier, and now there's a forest right next to the city. It's over to the right. Okay, was the forest not there before? New Crunchy City, train station. Be careful, Hime, it seems there are a lot of monsters coming out of the forest, although they don't seem particularly scary. Okay, let's see if we can go in this tree first. Ooh, nice. Nice music. Everything seems really, really polished so far. I'm really loving this. I'm excited to, to get more into it. Hopefully we can get quite far today. Uh, it's a bit annoying with my camera being up there. It's just a little bit too tall, isn't it? It needs to be like that, but it keeps sliding up. There we go. I'll do it like that. You probably can't see, but my dog is fast asleep down there on the floor. Porter, greetings. First time at this station, eh? I come here all the time, but I don't recognise you. Uh, I'm the new hire. Anyway, I'll get you registered. Now you can visit this station from any other station you've been to. Just talk to me and travel in a flash. Thanks, I think. Last time I rode the train, I could go anywhere I liked. New, huh? Policy, yeah. Greetings, which station would you like to go to? You can only travel to stations you've already been to. Okay, so it looks like there's five different areas I've crawled in. The ATM does nothing, the plants do nothing. Always double check everything. Okay, I guess we carry on down here then. Ooh, glitch forest. The door is locked, you need the office key to enter. Is this guy okay? Don't forget to save your game with the casino statues, otherwise you can't continue when you get a game over. At least that's what my grandma used to say. I don't think grandmas understand the concept of saving. My grandma played for like 200 plus hours on a DS game just by restarting it every time. She actually gave them all to me recently, they're all, they're all down there. Whoa, this forest wasn't here before, and it's all freaky around the entrance. Hey, you're pretty brave, right, Hime? Why don't you take a look deeper in? I guess I have no choice. Gotta follow the path. Okay. I haven't got any sort of weapon yet. There's a nice little squirrel in the corner there. I like what they attempted to do with the colour here for the bottom of the trees. I guess I'll get hurt if I step into the... Uh, into that squid thing. I love the music. These are some real nice chip tunes. Help me! Oh, what happened? Hey, wake up. Are you okay, stranger? Oh, hello there. I must have passed out from running all the way here. I was running away from some terrifying shadowy thing. Could it be? The monster we saw at the anime club? My memory of what happened is hazy, but that aside, I'm... I'm Alma. What is your name, Traveller? I'm Crunchyroll Hime, or just a regular anime fan. She is Crunchyroll Hime, it's true. I've never heard of a name like that before. And why are you so colourful? Why aren't you? I love orange. Why aren't you? Everyone else was. Ah, never mind that for now. Come to think of it, where am I? Uh, 
house in Coney Park. This is a dangerous forest. If you're going to be exploring, you'll need a trusty weapon. Do you have one? I don't think so. Does this hair clip count? No. So you don't have a weapon. Well, it just so happens that I have an extra sword on me. <laughs> okay. You've got a sword. Press the A button to swing it around. I get the feeling this won't be the last time we meet. Take care, adventurer. Wow. Okay, that is that is Zelda. Even the sound effect. That is 100% Link's Awakening. But you can't hold it down to, to charge it up. Oh, we can fight these slimes at least. Ah! Great humour going on. Yeah, I really enjoy... I'm really enjoying the pacing of it too as well. Great humour, great pacing. Heavily based on the Capcom's on the games. Oh, that makes sense. I hate to admit it, but I've never played Oracle of Seasons. Should I fix that? I've played ages. I had ages on day one and I loved it, but for whatever reason, never got around to playing Seasons, and I've always regretted that. Some objects can be put... Yeah, I've figured that out already. Ooh, more glitches. Even the map is very Zelda. Which is definitely not a bad thing. There's one of the Kitsune statues, is it? The rest of the Kitsune statue, you're probably healed. What would you like to do? Save and continue. Can you save and slot one? Oh. There. Kill the Octoroks. Found them all, apparently. The sanctity of this place has been fouled. Oh, wait a moment. This isn't a dungeon at all. This is just the NCC shopping mall. Monsters came in and stole our supplies. The mall is basically closed. You can't get anime, TVs, or DVD players anymore. Oh no. Well, the mall is shut, but that means I get the rest of the day off. Woohoo. Oh yeah, for anyone wondering, apparently this game is set in 1999, so this is like just as DVD players are taken off, I guess, and that's why they keep mentioning them all the time. I saw a mouse run off with the last new TV. I wonder where he took it. Does he even have a house? There must be a very strong mouse or a very small TV. Maybe there's a whole village of animals out there somewhere. Wouldn't that be crazy? It would indeed. You open the chest. You find 20 Yenny. Is that a Mega Man reference? With with Zenny? And a reference to Yen, I guess, as well. Ooh, is there any ice cream left? Slurp. What? <laughs> Apparently that's a nice slime. Can we go in any of these? Are they doors? They don't seem to be doing anything. Let's carry on up here. Thinking man, this mall used to be so full of dreams, now it's just empty memories. Oh. They were 20 years ahead of the times. I see you have studied the blade, I too have sick katana skills, uh, just glasses. But uh, I left my katana at home today. <laughs> oh nice, I didn't realise that other Capcom games also used semi. I only ever knew it from Mega Man Battle Network as a kid. That's cool. So it's just a reference to everything Capcom. Nice. This is crazy, what's going on? The roads to the east and west both disappeared. I don't know, let's go inside this weird house first that reminds me of something from Paladin's Quest on the SNES. Science Man! From this room, we can monitor everything. Science man! Where are all these anomalies coming from? If the electronic interference doesn't let up soon, all our gadgets will break. Oh no. Shall we try going left? Uh, okay. 
I expected that to happen. I guess we're gonna get whatever the equivalent of Rock's Feather is at some point. Let's head up here then. I guess I never paid attention because I've played both of those as well. Okay, we are in some sort of creepy house with weird music going on. Oh god. Okay, now it's turned into like one of those RPG Maker horror games. I don't think I can leave the light switch on. Oh, we found a cat! Yeah. Junji Ito. Hello, Hime. Welcome in. Sorry about the lights. My power's been acting strangely ever since that strange storm. Hello, Ito-sensei. I was a little scared in the dark, but I'm fine now. That's a relief. Tonichi is here, but have you seen my cat, Tenmaru, around? When the storm came in, he ran off to the north. If you can find him, I'll give you this peculiar key I found. And there's this creepy skull on it. I couldn't resist picking it up. I'll definitely find your cat, and then I'll get that creepy key. Shiver. Okay. Let's head north and grab a key. Zenny's also used in Monster Hunter. Another series that I always mean to play more of. I did play a little bit of uh, whatever the latest one is on the Switch with some friends, but didn't get very far. I think this house is haunted. Just a hunch. Hello, random Pokemon grandpa. The coffee shop is right behind me. If I get a coffee... I get a coffee here every day. That's the secret to my youthful good looks. Is that his cat? No. I just picked him up and threw him out the window. That's what he gets for trying to interfere with my stream. Welcome to Eunice and Co. You have 24 yenny. What can I buy with that? A famous coffee? Let's see what else. A packed lunch for 20. No. A health upgrade. We don't have enough for that. Bombs, arrows. Should we get some bombs? You don't have a bomb license. I was going to say bomb bag then. It's as close to Zelda as it can be. You'd like a bundle of 16 arrows, that'll be 10. You don't have a bow to use them with. Okay, can we get a donut? Yay, okay. You feel a little healthier, your health was restored. I'm guessing all of them are just health pickups. Oh, spoke to the same guy again. Whoops. Sudachi, is Goro still living in our basement? Did he ever pay his share of the rent? He sure didn't. I should look under the stairs in our house. Gamer! Man, I sure love this new update for Craft War. I don't know why it's getting poor reviews. It literally works totally fine on my PC. <coughs> I love that this world is just populated with nerds. Gamer! Man, I hate this new update for Craft War. It barely runs on my system. I think people giving it good reviews don't know what a decent game is. <laughs> Relatable. Non-gamer. Life is just so pleasant, you know? The air is fresh, the food tastes so good, and grass feels so nice to touch. <laughs> I feel like my roommates are always so angry and I'm not sure why. This is amazing. <laughs> you open the chest. You found 20 yenny. Touch grass, everyone. Okay, is that it? Just two gamers and a non-gamer in a giant three-story house. And a treasure chest full of gold at the top floor. I presume I'm going the right way. Uh, more glitches. 
found. This strange object's too heavy for you to push. Oh no. We're stuck. I have no idea how long this game is or anything, so I don't know if we'll actually get through it all today or not. If not, I'll definitely do a follow-up stream, because I'm really enjoying this so far. Okay, we're back home. Uh, let's see. West is Hime and Sudachi's house. South is where we just came from, and east is the train station. Let's head west then. Oh nice, I need to check out Melon Journey, I've actually got it. I've got it right here. I've been planning on playing it for a while, it's in the drawer right next to me. So, they're, they're just a really talented GB Studio developer. You rest up the Kitsune, actually. I'd kind of been put off playing GB Studio games for a while because of how similar they all feel, but... If developers put this much effort into polishing it, it barely even feels like a GB Studio game, really. There's no, like, immediate signs of the engine, which is pretty interesting. Should I pet him? Yes, of course. Get ready to pet with the A button. Get in position with the D-pad. Go. What? Am I supposed to be... Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, come on, let me pet him. I didn't expect to have a cat pet in minigame. <coughs> ah. I got him. Yay. Pet successful. Hold on a sec. You could probably hear him crying in the background. Pet successful. Meow. There we go. I've laid him outside. Happens when any tools that make game dev easy, 90% of releases will be very similar, but there's an odd diamond in the rough. Yeah. And I think the longer that the tools are around as well, the more of those diamonds there'll be, because there's definitely some great ones, especially with all the updates coming out for the engine too. <clears throat> You've got the anime DVD. Drop it off at the anime club sometime. I should take this to the anime club at the library. Cool. Full of donuts. I want one. Is this, is this where the guy is hiding in the basement? This is Gorgo's basement, do not disturb! Oh right, Gorgo owes me rent money. I'd better collect it if I can get past the mess. Something is blocking the door from the other side. Something big and red that smells of nachos. Okay. Oh my god, the basement is a dungeon. Back and fly at me. Very slowly. Oh, yeah, talking about making games. Um, after Ryan said that he was working with Game Maker for a while, I decided to have a little play around with the engine, so I made a very, very basic little game just to scratch that game making itch that I've had in the back of my mind for a while. Maybe if I polish it up enough I might put it on itch.io but it's not really something I'm actively doing, it was just something I downloaded to try try out. Remember to keep the crate off create crate of junk on switch at all times. 
<clears throat> yeah, this is one massive basement. Did they just, like, keep digging underneath the whole neighbourhood? Oh, no way, you made Game Maker in... You made Game Maker. You made Mamo Castle in Game Maker, that's cool. I was really enjoying it. It's, it's very different the way that everything opens up in the same screen and then you have all sort of windows coming off the different objects. It kind of takes a bit of getting your head around, but... Um, I've been taking some notes. I've even been taking physical, handwritten notes on, on Game Maker, so... I thought maybe it would sink in better. And I was also trying to come up with this here. You probably can't see it on there, but it's kind of like a list of things that you need to know in order to make a basic game in any engine. So I was kind of going through like how to display sprites, how to move the sprites, how to animate, how to add backgrounds, collisions, blah, blah, blah. Physics, scroll and backgrounds, health and lives. So I've basically been going through that list that I made and then just ticking them off. <clears throat> They're adding a regular code view as well, that's good. I didn't mind it, but it would take a bit of getting used to, and you have to keep scrolling around to find all the other like variables and stuff that you've assigned. And I think it has a drag and drop system as well, doesn't it? A visual coding language. But I don't really want to go back to using visual coding, because... Well... I used it before when I made my first game because I didn't really understand programming that much. But after doing it at work, I feel like it'd be good practice to, to keep programming. Does it use its own... I haven't really looked into it that much. Does it use its own scripting language? Or does it use C or Python or something? Gorgo, hey, didn't you read the sign? Do not disturb. A vampire needs his beauty sleep. <coughs> but Gorgo, you owe me 120 yen in rent money. 120 yen a week, you'll bleed me dry! Actually, it's 10 yen a month, but you haven't paid in over a year. GML similar to C or Java. That's cool. I find that engines tend to use their own languages. Is there a reason for that, rather than using a, a more well-known language like C or JavaScript? Because the other engine, obviously, I was checking out as well as everyone else after Unity went crazy. Um, Godot, and that has its own GD script language. And I I guess it's just because whoever made the engine feels like it's easier to work with, the, with their own language that uses the engine stuff properly. <coughs> yeah, I suppose the big, the big two do. But in terms of like smaller smaller engines, like Construct as well, it's got its own language. And Godot, obviously, and Game Maker, and Stencil had its own language. So, I wonder why. Maybe it's just to simplify things. I'll just have to make you leave. Oh, and I sealed your infantry away. Just in case you brought garlic. What? Okay. It is like Zelda. We have to play tennis. Boss fight tennis. Nice, you can even aim them as well. This is incredibly well programmed for a GB Studio game. Fine, I'll pay. You got 120 yen. Thanks, Gorgo. Can you move your couch too? It's blocking the door. Alright, I'll shift it. Wait right there. The corruption, I feel it spread. Are you feeling alright, Gorgo? I presume that's how you pronounce his name anyway. Oh, Hime, I'm fine. As a vampire, I'm just sensitive to the supernatural, is all. Anyway, don't spend my rent money all in one place. Yep, smells like nachos. Is that the TV there? Looks like someone has a lot of time to argue online. Oh dear. Oh no! Sorry about the Twitch adverts. They just come on by default. I think I have a way of postponing them, but eventually they'll, they'll pop up anyway. I can't remember what I was saying now. 
something about questioning why some of the smaller engines use their own programming languages, I think. This is the big TV. See how big it is? It is very big. He made computer from 1999. Retro. So are we in 1999 or are we in the present day? Because it says on the back of the box right here, it's 1999 and something electric is in the air. A malevolent force has crept into New Crunchy City, wreaking havoc on its technology and tragically destroying the Anime Club's DVD slash VCR combo. Enter Hime to save the day. So it is 1999, or is it not? It has clothes in it, all the same outfit. <clears throat> I, I can't remember what engine it was, but I actually learned Lua at uni in... Oh, I can't remember what it was called. Emerge? I think it was actually a game engine that the university lecturer actually made himself to teach programming uh, and game design in a simple way. And it, it was a pretty cool engine, actually. I made something sort of like a mix of Zelda and Illusion of Time using the sprites from Illusion of Time. But I had more fun doing the design document than actually programming back then. Right, what are we doing now? Going back to the anime club, I guess? Should we save first? Oh, nice. I know a lot of people have made a lot of money making games for Roblox. Even, uh... Oh, I can't remember what his name now. The, the guy who made... Super Hexagon and things like that. He started making some Roblox games. <coughs> Maybe I'll check one of them out, because I did... Lua was like the first programming language that I properly managed to understand how it all works. Yo, dude, there was this crazy storm earlier. Yeah, we've spoken to him already. too early to do this. Hey May, good news. The new Anime Club membership cards have arrived, but I can't give you one until we can watch anime again. If you can find a new TV and some anime to watch, I'll give you a membership card. Good luck. Hi, Hey May, how's the quest going? I want to watch anime. Spin. Why does this remind me of uni so much? So in episode 52 of Wonderful TV Chan, TV Chan has to fight the Radio King. King Radio is really strong, but she gets a power up from her friends and turns into ultra wonderful TV Chan. Wow, maybe I could be like her. We need a new TV. Maybe you could try them all in New Crunchy City. Yes, an anime DVD. Way to go, Hime. DVDs of the future. They'll never be obsolete. Ah, uh, if only she knew. I was speaking to, to someone else who programs games recently as well. They were recommending Monogame, which I think is Microsoft's uh, C-sharp game engine without any sort of front end, which was based on the old XNA when Xbox Live was around. He was showing me a cool game that he was making. He, well, he's making a few games, but one of them was like cargo ships that you sail around and you pick stuff up and take it and sell it in different places, which is kind of fun. Uh, it seems there are monsters coming out in the forest. They don't seem to be scary. What am I supposed to be doing now? Not sure where I'm meant to go now. Well, we can kill this slime now. Now that I've got a sword. Hey, yo! Ginger Wolf, hello, welcome to the stream. We've been having a lot of fun playing through Hime's quest so far. Really enjoying it. Ah, uh, this is where I couldn't get past earlier. Was it? Oh no, we've been we've been here. That's where the lady who gave me the sword came from, wasn't it? I'm just taking a long way around.
We didn't go right last time though, as far as I can remember. So let's try going this way. I thought you could get rid of that cactus, but apparently not. There's a new treasure chest. I was supposed to be looking for someone's cat, I think. You said go north, so I don't know where I am now. Welcome to Beach Town, the nicest place in the desolation. I remember when XNA Game Studio was the big thing for making Windows or Xbox games. Yeah, it was massive, wasn't it? Around like 2008 or 9. But the engine still lives on, apparently, under a new name called Monogame. Or Monogame Framework. I don't know if there's any big games that have been made in it. I'm gonna have a quick look. Because it sounded like it would be cool to use. Oh, Streets of Rage 4. Streets of Rage 4, Carry On, Celeste, Stardew Valley, and many others. A re-implementation re of the disused Microsoft XNA framework. Provides a game framework, 2D and 3D rendering, sound effects and music playback, keyboard, mouse, touch and control inputs, content building and optimization, and a math library optimized for games. Maybe that could be something to look into as well then. <clears throat> Your game festival video made me so happy and nostalgic. I miss the days of going to that event. It was so fun. I've never been to Insomnia before. I absolutely loved it. I'm still wearing the t-shirt actually. Like... Honestly, honestly Insomnia was one of the best gaming events that I've been to in a long time. There was just so much variety. It was like, it was really good, really, really cool. I would actually like to try and do the um, camping experience there one day. That'd be really fun. Oh, it's not in here as well, but there is another t-shirt as well with the big eye in the hexagon, the Insomnia logo. Uh, I don't know where all my stuff is. And something else that I got from Insomnia, but it's not here either. There's an old man with some winged boots living in this town. I'm jealous. But yeah, I'll definitely go to Insomnia again. The video didn't do very well, though. Red Knight 20 xx just subscribed. Wow, thank you. Whoa, look at the screen. Ah, There's stuff flying everywhere. Wow. Is it going to stop? There we go. Thank you so much. Beta Mark is gifting two tier one subs to Retro Breaks community. Amazing. And and Tip Run as well. Gifted subs. Yes, I just caught up with that. Sorry. Beta Mark, very kind of you, thank you. I'll make sure I spend it wisely. Um, there's an old man with some winged boots living in this town. I'm jealous. Right, let's go and find the man with the winged boots. Beach Town Resident. Oh, the legendary game disc. How I wish to see it before I die. Instead, I have these useless winged boots. All they do is let you jump over holes. Wait, winged boots? This game disc must be some incredible treasure. If I could find this legendary game disc, would you trade me for the winged boots, pretty please? Of course I would. The legendary game disc is an exceedingly rare artifact. I hear it was only sold via pre-order, and the last copy of the game was lost in the desolation years ago. One glimpse of the game disc and the winged boots are yours. Let's do it. Ah, Poor Ginger Wolf. Hold on. Mm. 
there you go. It doesn't make any sense me paying myself to pay you, but there you go. You are now officially a subscriber too. <laughs> Legend has it that an incredible treasure sleeps beneath the desolation oasis to the west of town. have to translate for me. <laughs> I do not speak the Portuguese. Although I did live with a Portuguese guy at uni. We need to meet up again soon. Legend has it that an incredible treasure sleeps beneath the desolation oasis to the west of town. Greetings! First time at this station, eh? I'll get you registered. Now you can visit the station from any other station you've been to. Just talk to me and travel in a flash. Well, I don't want to go anywhere just yet. I need to go and look for the game disc. Automatic message thanking you. Huh. You can buy bombs at the town store. They're great for clearing obstacles. I don't think I can use bombs yet, though. Welcome to Beach Town, the nicest place in the desolation. Now we got the cool music again. I suppose I should check out some of the buildings in there first before we go off adventuring. Let's see where this place is. Beach Town General Store. That is not the guy's lost cat. Welcome, you have 183 yen. Is that a bag? Arrow capacity upgrade. There's so much here. A bomb license, yes. Thank you. Bombs can go blow up both obstacles and enemies. So, do I need to buy bombs or have I already got some? I've got eight. Okay. Let's say, is that a fishing rod? You'd like a fishing rod? That'll be 20. Thank you for your purchase. Might come in handy later. I wonder what happens if I click on the shopkeeper. Hey, quit poking me! Feel free to browse. That's nice. They didn't need to do that. No fighting in the chat, guys. <laughs> This town wasn't always surrounded by desert. Thriving wilderness was transformed into the desolation you see today. Can I go swimming? Or fishing? No, I guess I just have a fishing rod. It doesn't do anything. Sad man, I wish I could gather up all my dreams and set sail. The problem is I have no friends that want to come along with me. Just go anyway, sad man, you'll make friends. Beach town resident, living by the beach is awesome, except for the sand, and the inhospitable desert that surrounds us. The ginger wolf has been following me for 7 months, 28 days, and 18 hours. Wow, have I been streaming that long already? I think I've been streaming for about a year now, it's crazy. Or maybe even more than that. Beach town res and I still have a layout that's half broken. No, it gets better though. I'll try and improve it some more in the future. At least I got the audio and video right. That's the main thing. I need to come up with a better plan of what to stream each time I go live as well because it's always like last minute trying to decide like what should I do this week? Who knows? There's an old man with some winged boots living in the town. I know, I need to go and find something for him. That's him right there. And that is the train station. Can I not go behind it? Apparently not, I guess. Let's carry on 
down here then and do some more exploring. And we have bombs as well now. You were looking for Nintendo retro games and then found my channel. Well, I'm glad YouTube pointed you in my direction. Very kind of it. Oh, I put that down in the wrong place. Okay, I guess that's just part of the scenery. I don't think I've seen anything that you can bomb yet, so I don't really know what I'm looking for. found somewhere new. The graveyard? I don't mean to be slashing the graveyards, I'm not that insensitive. <laughs> and then I'll just go ahead and blow some up. That didn't work either. Welcome visitor to the Kitsune Shrine. Wait a moment, are you a... Uh, I see. An adventurer on a quest? Yes I am! In that case I will help you on your quest. Take this bow. Gurgle, growl. Uh, on second thoughts, how about I trade you this bow for a stack? I'll be back before you can say Foxtail. No one wants to give me anything. Do I not have anything to give them? Okay, I guess I better go and buy some food. Wait, you found me on Twitch first and then went to YouTube? Wow. I don't think anyone's gone that way around. That's cool. I feel like there's like no discoverability on Twitch whatsoever, so you need to have somewhere else for people to find the Twitch in the first place. So how did you find me on Twitch then, do you remember? Yeah, the music's awesome. I wonder who did the soundtrack for it, whether it's someone that I know in the community. I think this house is haunted. Okay, we're back here again. I need to find the shop. Here we go. Do I have to buy the pack lunch? <clears throat> it has no effect. Your caffeine tolerance is too high. That's just like me. Yay, we got some maximum health upgrade. I've still got 52 remaining. Okay. So, we have the food. Oh, nice. I want to get back to streaming more just general retro stuff as well. Is there anything in particular that you'd like to see me play? happy with whatever I decide to play each week. I was actually planning yesterday to stream F099, but I was just feeling too tired. I thought there'd be no point in me streaming if I'm just going to be like, uh... So, I gave it a day, I rested up a bit. Although, today's been more stressful at work than yesterday was, so... I'm trying to ignore all that and get back to just having fun. Steve. Oh, a friendly face out here in the desolation. How did you get out here without a supply of water? I just came from New Crunch City. If you're thirsty, you could try Eunice and Co. They make a mean latte. Wait, what? There's a city nearby? I must be hallucinating from dehydration. Be gone, apparition! And whatever you do, don't mess with my oasis water. Definitely do not investigate the odd objects in the oasis. Got it? Sure. You can't push it in this direction, there's a wall in the way. Where am I supposed to be taking it? Oh. Oh no. What have I done? He did the, he did the music for another Poppy, Poppy Works game called Slave Zero X. Nice. I might, I might try that Slave Zero X game out then. Let's have a quick Google. Is there any physical version of it? 
Oh yeah, Game Boy Homebrew games. I'm um, going to be judging the Game Boy Homebrew game jam that just finished soon. So actually, I've got a few days off work next week, so I might uh, I might stream it on Tuesday. Is Slave Zero X not a Game Boy game? It looks like it's a game on Steam, actually. 2.5D character action game. It looks pretty cool. I presume that's the same. Very different to this. <coughs> Made in Game Maker. Oh, there, that's where you, that's where you said it before. Sorry. I thought you were talking about Game Boy Homebrew stuff. I'll check that out. I'll add it to my Steam wish list. It'd be cool to play some more Game Maker games too. Oh nice, there's a free demo. There we go then. I'll get that installed while we're playing this. <coughs> you there, apparition! My name is Hime and I'm very corporeal. Okay, Hime, go down those stairs and get me my water back. I'd do it myself, but I'm so thirsty. Yeah, this guy really needs a coffee. We found a dungeon. It is very Zelda. Oh! Oh, why did I think I could talk to him? Whoops. Okay, we don't get a separate dungeon map. I thought we might. The three Cyclops and no obstacle to the wise. Oh, we even have some scrolling. I think that's the first time I've seen any scrolling. You open the chest. You found 20, Yanni. Not very exciting item. The snake faces the setting sun in the west. Okay. Cryptic. There's uh, a vortex thing there. Why does it feel like I shouldn't be able to walk on this? And I guess that's the boss door. I didn't expect like a full on Zelda adventure game. The falcon faces the rising sun in the east. I'll need to remember these. Snake in the west, falcon in the east. Treasure sleeps behind the unlit waterfall. We open the chest. We got more money. Is that all we're going to get? Which is like three pixels and one big pixel. It can only be used in this dungeon. No secrets there, both of those waterfalls are lit on that one. Let's try going this way. I guess it's like Zelda where that spiral eventually becomes some sort of teleporter to take you back to the start of the dungeon. Got to double check everywhere just in case. This has really made me want to play Oracle of Ages because I really can't believe I've never played it. Oh shoot, which way did it say? Snake in the west, eagle in the east? Nice, they even put the little front flip animation.
I need to find another key. Ah, is that what it means by unlit waterfall? Yes. There it is. We haven't got stuck yet. Protodome has a PhD in music. Why? Yeah, you can tell. He definitely knows his, his uh, compositions. Even the dungeon music's cool. I'm definitely going to check that game out after. I'm still trying to decide. If I actually do want to make a game, what engine do I want to go with? Maybe I will go with Game Maker. A lot of games that I've really enjoyed have been made in Game Maker, actually. Grapple Dog from a few years ago, for example, was a really fun one. This looks like the big boss of this place. <clears throat> That's right. I'm the boss of this whole desert. All the water, all the life in the desolation is mine to keep. Does that mean you're the reason everything is messed up around here? Are you the one who put our city in the middle of a forest? Is that how it works, or did it bring the forest to the city? That wasn't me, but I do love the corruption. It's brought me more water and more life to sap away. I'll be taking yours next. No, you won't. Oh, am I not allowed to put bombs down in the water? Have I got any left? Okay. I need to select it first. Ah! I'm trapped! Oh no, I did that terribly. <laughs> hey, Gion. Oh, it was going well. You caught me at my first game over. It's a great game so far, though. I'm really, really enjoying it. Very, very impressed. It's kind of renewed my faith in Game Boy Homebrew a bit. I was feeling quite burnt out, so this is like a breath of fresh air, honestly. Oh, where do we need to go now? Yeah, I've only been streaming for an hour. I'll probably be on till 11, maybe? What time is it? It's quarter to nine. I've got a few more hours. I would stay longer, but gotta get up for work. Unless you won't want to keep subbing to me so I can quit my job and stream all night. I think I'd go crazy if I had to just stream all the time. I can only manage three hours max, I think. You're doing overtime. Oh no, hopefully it's not too much. I forgot what I need to do now. I need to get the keys. I should have gone and saved after I opened up that door. There's one. Is the chest over here opened up already? I shouldn't be so careless standing right in front of the enemies as well. It definitely doesn't feel quite as polished as Zelda in the uh, action department. The sprite hitboxes are like the entire size of the sprite, which is kind of difficult to get used to. Anyway, let's keep going. And I think they take more hits as well. But luckily they drop quite a bit of ammo. 
Um, where was it? West for the snake, east for the eagle. Yeah, the hitboxes are too big. That's my one gripe with the game so far. Not gonna give me a key? I thought that's where the key was. Uh, it's not in here, is it? Well, I'll save again anyway. Hopefully it remembers that I already got one. Dungeon music doesn't have to go that hard. Treasure sleeps behind an unlit waterfall. I know, I already got that one. I don't know where the other key was. Does anyone remember where I got the second key from? I found it easily first time. I wish there was a map for the dungeon as well, because it only shows a map for the overworld. I feel like I'm going around in circles. Mm, maybe that's something as well that's thrown me off a bit. There's no knockback for the enemies. Well, maybe that's an engine limitation. And they could probably program it just to move them back a certain amount of pixels. Because I didn't think pixel perfect movement like this was possible, but it seems like you can move just one pixel. In, oh, I'm back here again. Where is this other key? Oh! Did I already pick it up? I didn't even need to look for another key. I already had it, apparently. Uh, well, moving on. Okay. Now, I'm gonna go back and save. Oh nice, that's when the portal opens up. That's what I was supposed to do. And it healed me as well, excellent. Ah! <laughs> Why did they put that directly in front? Hmm, maybe that's the... the first minus point to this game. No, not back. Right, can we skip cutscenes? No. Oh well, it's only a second to skip through everything. Uh, I don't know what's going on when the boss moves to the side like that. Can I dodge? I don't know where I can stand. The whole screen gets taken up with that attack. Oh well, let's just try and jump straight back in. I do have a fishing rod. Can I attack her with a fishing rod? Like the end of uh, Twilight Princess, where you can kill Ganondorf with a fishing rod. Okay, another minus point. They don't let you skip the cutscenes if you've already read them. Um, I guess technically this is the second dungeon if you count the basement at the start. Don't get hurt by that, I have no idea. Can I stand at the top? No. No idea how to dodge that. I haven't got a shield or anything. Anyone got any ideas? 
Am I missing some sort of item that I'm supposed to have at this point? All I have is that basic attack and bombs. Hmm. Well, let's try again. Just mash A as much as possible. Where can I go? I can't go anywhere. Stay right at the bottom, maybe? No. I'll try going right to the bottom, maybe where the splash is. Maybe that doesn't hurt. Alright, back again. Continue. Okay. We got this. We got this. Let's go back in. If not, maybe I'll go out and try and see if I'm missing something. Another thing I noticed, it doesn't always register that you've got the bombs equipped. Oh, they seem to have stayed this time. I don't think there's any sort of roll or anything. Or dodge. A uses the sword. Let's try and stay down here then. No, I still got hurt. What about right in the corner? Ah! Up here? No. I'll try staying right in the corner. Okay. That worked. Oh, just staying along the wall works too. No, it's almost too easy. Ah! Okay, that was my fault. Oh no! I did kill her. No, my immaculate plan's in ruin. I may be defeated, but the corruption calls to me. I'll be seeing you again, would-be hero. Yay, we did it. Even this music's cool. Listen to this. If she wasn't the one that put our city in this predicament and interrupted our anime viewing, then who was it? I'm going to get to the bottom of this to save New Crunchy City. Oh, and to save anime. The boss left something behind. You found the legendary game disc! Whoa, a floppy disc. I should show it to that old guy at Beachtown. Alright, let's go and show him what's on this incredible disc and get his magic flying boots that he doesn't want because he would rather have a floppy disc. This game's got... Gion, you should you should go back and watch the VOD after this, because this game's got some incredible writing. It's really fun. It is very meta. And it's very nerdy as well. It's very, like... Oh, that's, what, that's where I need to come after. Oh, Hime, hello. Not only is there a city next to the forest, now there's a desert. I feel as if we've been transported to another world. So do I. I hope we haven't been isekai'd. Just watch out for the holes around here. A textbook trap for ill-equipped adventurers. Maybe you could find some gear to help you deal with them. I know exactly... Ah! Wrong button. I know exactly what I need. I need to go back to the beach, wherever that is. You open the chest. It, it might be nice if there was more things to find in the, tre in the chest. Because all I seem to be finding is just money. Uh, right, where is the old man? He's in here, isn't he? Nope. In the other one. Here he is. Nope. Living by the beach is awesome, except for the sand. Yes, I know. In here? Yeah, there he is. Beach town resident. Oh, you brought the legendary game disc. Now let me see it. There you go. Freshly plundered from a dungeon full of deadly monsters. Dot, 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 dot. That's it? That's just a copy of Liero. I already have that game. Uh, I was imagining something a little more legendary. Well, I guess my lifelong wish was granted. Here are the winged boots as promised. 
you got the winged boots. Open the inventory with start and select the winged boots. Press A to equip them. They let you jump with B. Those winged boots are neat. I bet they can get past any holes that might block my path. Sigh. Poor guy, he got a copy of a game he already had. There's an old man with some winged boots living in this town. Yes, it is exactly like Zelda. Whee. Okay, now we need to go back to where I just was. Which I think was over here. I'll be jumping everywhere from now on. Whee. Was it up here? I can't remember which way to go now. Not sure where I am on that map either. Here it is. And ju oh, I didn't time it right. Oh no. Jump. Yay, we did it. I am good at platformers, honest. Now we're going back into the glitch forest. What is going on in here? No fungus swamp, stay out. No idea where I'm supposed to be going yet. Swamp train station. Okay, is this just still in use? Greetings, first time at this station. I'll get you registered. Now you can visit any station you've been to before. Blah, 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 blah. I don't want to go anywhere, but that is three open now. In the bottom three, we've also got one at the top of a mountain and one slightly further down a mountain. I feel like I should be taking some notes for some of these other areas that I'll need to go back to. Right, so we have found a cave. Found another dungeon. Something else it's missing. It's missing that dungeon title that pops up when you uh, when you step inside one. Maintenance pipe two. Apply force to operate directional lever. I don't know what I'm seeing when she goes in the pipe. You open the chest. You obtain the key. Wow, what a difficult puzzle. I know, it's only a sign of things to come. There we go. You use the key to unlock a door. Let's go. There's weird mushroom things inside. Can I bomb that wall? It seems like I should be able to. Really? Did Zelda teach me nothing? I forgot all about my food. I brought my dinner up here and I didn't eat any of it. Two sweat droplets. Maybe. Hazardous waste in an emergency. Activate safety levers on one and two to open. I don't know. Maybe it's... Two sweat drops? I thought it was a ponytail at first, but no idea. Ah! Die. Is there any... Oh, there's one. And now we can get to the treasure chest. Did we just get some more? Oh no, we've got a key. Nice. There was something else. And go and flick a switch on the side too. Where should we go first though? Let's try going up here. Am I strained too far? We got something. Is it another key? Alright, we got two keys. <clears throat> I guess I have to use one key and then go back and hit that. And then go back to the other one. Don't spit at me. Oh, 
I'm not sure what that one's for. Nothing to do in that room? Okay. Let's see if that fixed it. Oh, the other one was probably just to say that you flipped the switch to open the door in the first room. Did you guys see today that Incubate released a new Kickstarter for another new Game Boy game? Mystery seed sprite? What do you mean by that? You obtained a key, it can only be used in this dungeon. There we go, we've got another one. Wasn't Mystery Seed something to do with how Zelda was originally going to be before before it got turned into the Oracle games? Yeah, some Jap Japan inspired RPG. It looks really nice from what I saw of it. Another really, really well polished Game Boy Studio game. Right, I guess we can use a bomb on there. Yay, that's the first time I've actually used a bomb to break something. The skull shaped room hides a key. Oh, nice. Got some health. And 50 yenny. That was generous. Hey, yeah, this is a new Game Boy Color release. There it is. By Limited Run. Yeah, Incubate definitely has, like, a quality, t like, to the releases that some of the other publishers don't. Not, not saying that the other publishers release bad games, but you know what I mean. They're, like, a step above. For sure. Is that it? Sometimes I don't know if these switches are actually doing anything. <coughs> yeah, really good quality control. That's the right word for it. Although Limited Run seems to be picking up some really cool games too. Like, I was saying earlier, I got Melon Journey to play, which is down here. As I was planning to step away from Game Boy Homebrew and then all these cool Game Boy Homebrew games come out. And I'm actually having a lot of fun with it again. Is that it? Did I do it? Yay! Ha! <laughs> Not that you're biased, no. How have they been with you recently? This looks like the big boss of the place. An intruder in my swamp. How did you get past my spoilings? Oh, those adorable mushroom guys. They are not adorable! Bloop. The spoilings are my battle-hardened minions. We will spread our swamp from this factory to the edges of the worlds. All thanks to the bug's corruption. Okay, that's not cute. I have a city to protect. And what exactly is the corruption, anyway? The corruption breaks down the barriers between the analogue and digital, a joining of worlds. But enough talk, your world is mine. Spallings, attack! They're not doing much. I didn't even look at who was talking to me, what a weird design. It's like a, a squashed pumpkin with a tree for a body. Uh, I don't feel uncomfortable dodging bullets with such a big sprite. I'm scared. Ah! How dare you. Let's try that. Oh no, I walked straight into that one. Ah. Uh, yeah, if we meet up in London, you can you can catch me up then. Hopefully everything's okay though. Oh no, how much do I need to do? 
I really should have come back to save first. Oh, <laughs> do I need to do the whole thing again? Uh, I'm sorry, guys. Bear with me while we traverse the entire dungeon all over again because I'm an idiot. Where's the speed up button? I could even use save states. I'm playing it on the analog pocket. Or at least I think that's an option. I'm too used to modern games having autosave. Well, we'll be able to get through it faster anyway, because I know what to do. Well, let's see if I remember what to do. Just ignore all them bats. Speed running. I wonder if there is a speed run for this. I presume it was fairly popular because it's obviously two big companies. Crunchyroll and Limited Run. Oh, did I not get a key? Oh, I didn't get a second key. I wonder how much additional code they had to do on top of GB Studio because I think you can you can sort of merge it with uh, GBDK for certain things. So maybe there was a lot of customization on top of the engine. It definitely feels like more than just built in, or they just used a lot of um, plugins and things from the community. I know there's getting more and more things that you can add onto it. Like the multi direction movement, I saw that was an option there. I will say, it's quite refreshing to play a GB Studio game which doesn't shoehorn in the platforming sections. Hey. There we go, we got another key. You've been speedrunning Simpsons Road Rage, GBA version. That's a very random game to play. Is that the one that plays like Crazy Taxi? I think I remember being quite impressed with it on the GBA. Because it has kind of 3D graphics, doesn't it? Yeah, that one. I remember I enjoyed the GameCube version back in the day. Oh, yeah. The skull shaped room hides. Okay. Maybe I should use that. It's trying to tell me. Go back and save. Okay. There we go. We will never have to do that again. Ever. Let's see. Where is that going to take me by default? I guess that's good. I guess this is kind of like the minecart sections in, in the Oracle games. I really need to play Oracle of Ages. That's one of the reasons why, um, why I haven't done my top Game Boy Color games video. Because I want to play Oracle of Ages. I wonder which of these rooms it's referring to when it says the skull room. Oh, unless I don't need to worry about that anyway. Anyway, I'm going all the way back to the start because I'm going to save before we fight the boss. Maybe the skull room's the room I've already been to. Hmm. Why is there no teleporter from that room?
I love the ending to that song for the dungeons. Alright, here we go again. I won't bother reading through it again. I know what I'm doing this time. I wonder whether I can use the rest of my bombs to take out the spore on the other side. I guess the spores aren't really the thing to worry about. You're supposed to just try and focus on hitting his hand. Like that. At first I thought it was his tongue, but yeah, it's definitely his hand. Just make sure you stay out of the way of his direct line of sight, I guess. Doing a lot better this time. Whoa, that was close. He really hit me on the head. Can I actually hit him as well? No. Nope. Oh no. I lost my sword for a second. Surely there can't be that many more hits left. Ah. I'm getting scared now. The music's going crazy. Whoa, that was close. Yeah, we did it. That was actually a really fun fight. And quite difficult. My arm! My spoilings! My plans of world domination! The bug granted me this perfect opportunity. I will not waste it. I'll be back. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Phew, that was tough, but more importantly, who is the bug? If the bug caused the corruption, and the corruption is what put, put New Crunchy City in this mess, I get it, the bug must be the big bad guy! The monster that came out of our DVD player. Ew, a bug was in our DVD player? Gross! I need to keep exploring to get to the bottom of this. I have to find that bug and teach it a lesson. The boss left something behind. We got a Bishum mushroom. Ew. I don't want to know where this came from. Maybe I can find a use for it. I should ask around the swamp. Can we go in the pipes? No. The bosses are the part that require an impressive amount of work. Yeah, seems like it. They're really well programmed. I'd like to have all the bullets flying around and the different enemies coming out of the pipes at different times and stuff. Very cool. Oh my god, I almost died right then. If I died then and had to do the boss again, I would be mad. Yay, we did it. And we have emerged with a mushroom. Got quite a nice full inventory as well, though. train station. We've already been there. Maybe I should try jumping over that gap. I didn't mean to use that bomb then. Whoops. Really, it just restarted me on the other side anyway. Ah, oh, here we go. This is very Zelda as well. Oh, a visitor. What brings you to my neck of the swamp? Hi, I'm Crunchyroll Hime. I'm on a quest to save New Crunchy City and the Anime Club. Hello, Hime. A pleasure to meet you. My name is Tw... <coughs> Whoa there. Salty the Witch! Sorry, my name is Salty the Witch. I can help you on your noble quest to save NCC and anime. How do you know about my quest? I have magical powers, you see. Though since the corruption came, they are weakened. I have a magical bicep card for you. Just holding onto it lets you push heavy objects around. But first, you must fetch me the bish mushroom. Find the mushroom in the dungeon to the west and bring it here. Then I can restore a fraction of my power lost in to the corruption. And get a bicep card. Good deal! Although I reckon I'm pretty strong already. Well, I already got the mushroom. Mushroom delivery for Salty! Oh, you actually managed to retrieve it! 
The Bisham Mushroom. Now I can brew my potion and return to full strength. Here is the bicep card. You earned it. Yay. How much do I pay for Retro Break? Uh, it's only something like £20 a year or something. Something like that. It's not much. I need to do something more with the website. I keep tweaking the homepage and thinking I should really do something with this. Yeah, something like that. Can't remember where where or when I got it. I've had it for ages, like since I set up Retro Break 2017, maybe. Because originally Retro Break was the name of my game company that I made the Super Donuts game with, but I never really carried on making games. I turned it into a video thing, and then like last year or the year before, I turned the website on. But I've been sitting on it for a while, so I did spend now twenty pound for a year, not a month. So it's really cheap. I don't know how I managed to get it that cheap. But yeah, I don't question it. And then, when I signed up for WordPress, because obviously you need WordPress to host it, they offered me a free domain, but I'd already got one. But I think retrobreak.co.uk is cool. And yeah, £20 a year, and that means I can just constantly have that and use it as a QR code on the business cards and stuff. Uh, I think I had one somewhere. Yeah, look, there's my new business cards with the Retro Break website and QR code on the back. It's really fuzzy. There we go. So if you see me at any events, I'll be trying to hand them out this year. But at the minute, the website's basically a glorified, uh, what's it called, link tree with some blog posts on the site. Yeah, now I can push heavy stuff. I feel that a quest might be related to the predicament I find myself in, but enough of that. Good luck, Hime. Okay, what can I push? Can I push a cauldron over? The cauldron is bubbling away. All kinds of potion ingredients. Nice, well we are making good progress. I have the ability to push things now. Uh, let's see what's up here. I don't think I've actually been up here. Whoa, okay, into the sky. To the casino. The door is locked, you need the casino key to enter. Okay, not yet then. Hey, fight magic items. Hello. Thank you. You rock too. I loved your book. Where are we going? I don't think we've been this way. No, we haven't been this way yet. You know what rocks even more than both of us? This music. It's awesome. Okay, that was uh, another very, very simple puzzle. Are we just going to get some money? No, a health upgrade. Cool. Does it show what our max health is? Seven. We are getting slightly healthier. Oh, we're back here again. We've already been here. I suppose I need to go back up to the top to find something to push now that I've got that biceps thing. Maybe. Uh, should we take the train? I want to make sure I've been everywhere. I think I have. Let's actually use this for once. Are all your viewers talented? Everyone's talented in their own way. I'm sure you are as well, Ginger Wolf. Oh, nice. I didn't expect a little cutscene between there. Now, 
that's so good. I love that. Right, where to? I forgot there's a tree up here. Let's see if there's anything interesting in here. Oh, I can bomb that now. Oh, if I had any. To the shop. Where's the nearest shop? Uh, south. I think the coffee shop sells bombs. Yeah, I was going to say that. A lot of very, very talented people seem to stumble upon me. There's a load of cool people in my Discord as well that share all their game progress, which is always cool to see. I don't really talk in there that much, but it's nice to see people sharing things. I think this house is haunted. Just a hunch. I think so. Anyway, let's go in here. I'm so glad I can attract, like, talented people who are interested in creating things, though, because that is... That is what I love to do, and you know me, I would love to just create everything. I would love to make a game, I would love to make music, I would love to draw artwork. So, rather than me doing all that, I just gather all these people around me and get them to show me their cool stuff instead. And I am planning on writing a book at some point as well, so fight magic items, I might have some, some questions for you in the future regarding publishing and things like that. I would love to do a game in history book at some point. I've already planned out all the chapters and stuff, but I don't know when I'm going to get time to write it. But I think it would be cool though. That would be something cool for me to sell and you know, give to people at events and things too. You were right about the coffee, and sorry about it earlier, I was dehydrated. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. <laughs> he told me coffee Coffee doesn't affect him. He lied. Ha, <laughs> yeah. I know. I know, I can't do everything. I made that mistake before. Um, that's why I don't make games anymore. It got so bad, I was waking up in the middle of the night having panic attacks and things. I had to go to the doctors in the end. And uh, yeah, it just turned out I was overworking myself, trying to have a full-time job, trying to make a game, trying to make weekly videos, everything at once. Trying to move into a flat back then as well. Trying to... all sorts of stuff. Trying to figure out what the hell I wanted to do with my career. So, at least I'm not in that situation anymore. Things have calmed down a lot. But I still get frustrated about not being able to do everything I want to. I have to learn to relax a bit. Uh, where am I going? I need to find something to push. Yeah, at the minute, my main focus is YouTube. And then... Probably Twitch, because I still want to try and do that once a week. And then probably the book, third. I want to get, like, at least a rough draft out by the end of the year. But we'll see. I'm not putting any pressure on myself either, because I know that's... that's bad for my mental health and, uh, And my social life. I feel like I already... spend too much time working on my own stuff. Enough about me, anyway. How's everyone else doing? Have you guys got any interesting projects that you're working on? I s oh yeah, I forgot to come and give this... Give this person the uh, food that she was waiting for. I'm so sorry. I've kept her waiting so long. Itadakimasu. Thank you, delicious. Here's the bow, take good care of it. You've got the bow. Open the inventory with start, select the bow and press A to equip. The bow is a long range weapon that requires arrow to use. Should we try it? Yay. It's just like the uh, 
fully charged up sword from Zelda. Well, there we go, it was worth going up there. I like that the size of the world isn't too overwhelmingly big as well. We're back at the mall again. I don't want to go back in the forest. I'm trying to find something to use that new card. Gion uh, says, I'm in between projects right now. Uh, since releasing Pilgrim's Peril, I'm trying to decide what to do next in GB Studio, working on general art assets. Looking up Pilgrim's Peril because I'm not sure if I've seen it before. Nice! I like your itch page as well, it's very nicely presented. Oh, I've not logged in on there. I'll leave the tab open and give you a follow after. Have you checked out any of the games for the Game Boy Game Jam that just finished? Is there anything more to do in here? Oh yeah! I forgot all about this guy! I was supposed to be trying to find his cat for him. That was a long time ago. He just said it was up north somewhere. Let's try going north. I have no idea where to go! Yeah, if you're interested in seeing some of those projects, I'm going to be streaming... Um, not the judging, but I'm going to be streaming my checking out all of the games for the first time next week at some point. Because I need to make a list of my top 20 that I'm going to uh, judge for the competition. So if you want to check out me going through that, I'll let everyone know in advance when that will be. Monday or Tuesday next week, I think. Or maybe Tuesday or Wednesday, depending on when I'm free. And I've actually got a few days off work, because for some reason my holidays reset in September this year. At the end of September, not the end of December, which just doesn't make sense. But it means that I've literally only got one day in work next week, which is very exciting, so... I might actually try streaming in the day. And we can actually check out all, I think, 83 entries? 88 entries? Something along those lines? For the Game Boy Game Jam. So that will be very fun. Oh, I found something new, finally. Hopefully there's something interesting in here. Oh no. One, two, three. I've only got three! No. Can I... Take a screenshot? How do I take a screenshot? Can you tell I don't use this very often? Uh, how do I take a screenshot? I don't want to press the wrong button in case it loads a previous uh, save state or something. Actually, no, I'm not going to limit myself to five minutes for each game. I got told off for doing that last time by some people who were very upset that I didn't get to a certain bit of their project. So this time I'm actually going to play them for as long as it takes. 
And that's only for deciding my top 20, then I need to go and judge them after. Uh, analog and start. I don't know what that would be on the controller though. I haven't got a specific uh, analog button. If you can Google it, see how I can take a screenshot using the 8-bit do. What's it called? 2.4G wireless gamepad. SF30. See if you can find out a way of taking screenshots using the SF30 controller. Well, we found some new places anyway. Let's carry on up here. Oh, cool! Diablo heads here as well. Did you um? Did you have a concept for a game, or did you not get that far at all? Oh, what? Apparently, falling down the second hole actually takes you to the treasure chest. Not the first one. God damn it! This timing for the jump is really annoying. Okay, that's it. We did it. The health upgrade. Yay, what are we up to now? Out of eight. Cool. No, I actually have to time it. Uh, worked on something for about three weeks. Oh well, at least you've got a basis for when you are free. Just because it's... Yes, we've made progress. Just because it's part of the game jam doesn't mean that that's the only time you're allowed to work on it. So, don't beat yourself up about it. Uh, what am I to do? I lost my fishing rod. If only there was a store that sold fishing rods conveniently close by. Well, I guess I'll just sit here until a kind person decides to help me out. Hi. He's too lost in his own thoughts to reply. I'd better help him out. Well, I did. I did get a fishing rod. Fishing rod for what's your name? Your name is Fisherman. Oh, my prayers are answered. I found my fishing rod. I must have misplaced it earlier. Time to get fishing, I suppose. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, a yellow tail fish. You know what? I don't really want it. I have bacon in the fridge. <laughs> Wait, don't toss it back in. You've got the yellow tail fish. It stinks. Why did I want that? Ah, the simple life of a fisherman. You're welcome. He completely ignored me. What am I to do? I desperately needed a limited edition Gunbolt 00 Sky Transatlantic Ultimate Mugen Mode model kit complete with display stand and optional accessories. If only there was the model kit store conveniently close by. <laughs> I guess I'll just sit here until a kind person decides to help me out. Okay, I'm not helping out with this one. I have a city to save. Good luck fishing. I love the writing in this game. It's fantastic. Oh, I love it so much. Oh, I don't like having so many options for places to go. We found a new cave. I am so impressed by this game, just all round. This is just fantastic. The polish, the scope, the writing, the graphics, the music. I wasn't sure whether I would do a review video, but yeah, after playing this tonight, absolutely. 100% I'm going to give this a gl glowing review. Hopefully people can still buy it as well. Because it was limited run, and you know what they're like. With actually letting you buy things. Oh, he may. Hello. Uh, hold, select, then down, and start. All at the same time. Hey, it worked! Amazing. Hold L1 and R1. No, that didn't work. The other one did, though. Hold select and then press down and start. What a convoluted button combination. Oh, he may. Hello. Hi, Alma. I know what the corruption is now. Some kind of terrifying force that has tore down walls between analog and digital worlds. What analog and digi, huh? You really are a strange one, Hime. I don't really get it either, but we have to find the bug that caused it and return the worlds to normal. Well, if my adventurous sensors are working, I would say this crypt right beside me is probably important. Hime, try and find a way inside. Okay. There is a creepy skull above the keyhole. I don't see a creepy skull, but I'll imagine one.
Wow, this area is massive. Where are we? We're up there in the top right. I will not kill a skeleton by jumping on him. It's a shame the skeletons don't jump in the air like they do in uh, Link to the Past. Hell's train station. There we go, we've got another train station. Greetings. First time at this station, I'll get you registered. I don't want to go anywhere, but I just want to see the map. We've only got two places left. What time is it? It is half nine. Maybe we will finish it tonight then. Let's keep going anyway. Uh, what's going on here? Okay. I hit a switch. It did something. And now there are some mice that I can talk to. Oh, are these the mice that stole the TV? We have to find the TV of this mouse. They stole it from the mall, apparently. Wait, what? How did the snow thaw away? It's always snowing around here. Animal villager. I heard a rumour, apparently. There are ten health upgrades hidden around the world. I have no idea what that means. I can't even count to ten. Okay. I don't know how many I've found. There's a weird polar bear guy on that side. I thought that bat was a statue then. You open the chest. 50 yeti. I haven't really found much of a reason to buy anything. I have 218 now. I thought that slime was a snowball. Let's see what the sign says. You are standing on the highest peak of the mountains. Am I? Does that mean there's going to be another train station? I found a snowman. And a miniature house? This is the worst real estate ever! It's cold, cramped, and right next to the railway tracks. But let me tell you, the savings are fantastic. It's also, like, two inches tall. Welcome to Animal Village. Okay, we have arrived at Animal Village. The Big Cheese is the best. He always takes care of Animal Village. House of the Big Cheese. Oh, I was expecting just a giant block of cheese that they worship. The Big Cheese! Oh, a human visitor. Welcome. I am the Big Cheese here at Animal Village. The mayor in human speak. Uh, yeah, I'm totally human. That's me, an average human visitor. Nice to meet you. You must be from the Big Human Village. It suddenly appeared the other day. It's great. I went to the Human Mall and got this awesome box with moving pictures in it. It was the last one they had. Don't worry, I paid for it. Oh, that's a new TV! Just what the anime club needs! Wait, you want my shiny picture box? Well... Recently I caught a whiff of yellowtail on the easterly breeze. I guess I would trade it for a bite of yellowtail fish. Wow, you do not drive a hard bargain. I'll bring you some yellowtail before you can say cheese. And lucky for us, we've already got the yellowtail! Just one bite, please. Pungent. It would be hard not to smell it. Chump bite. Ooh, that hits the spot. The picture box is all yours. As much as I like it, you can't taste anything through the glass. Believe me, I tried. Thanks, Mr. Cheese. I appreciate it. You got the new TV. Drop it off at the anime club sometime. That was easy. Ah, delicious yellowtail. Thank you, human. Yes, I am totally human. Is she not human? Is she actually just an anime character? I suppose technically she's just binary code and pixels on the screen. Animal Village train station. Was there always a train station here? Well, I will activate it anyway. Greetings. First time at this station? I'll get you registered. That's it, we've uncovered all of the train stations now. Now we've seen everywhere the game has to offer. Welcome to Animal Village. Cheese to meet you. Cafe and store. There's another cat, but not the one the guy in the haunted house wants. This cafe is awesome. They even sell weaponry. What sort of a cafe is this? Why is it being run by a human? Can I poke him? 
They haven't noticed I'm human yet. Shush. <laughs> Feel free to browse. Ooh, we get a boomerang. You'd like a boomerang? That'll be 400 yen. You don't have enough. No, how much have I got? And there I was saying that I didn't have a reason to spend money. I could get the health upgrade. Should I get the health upgrade? I'll try and get all of them. Okay. We need to get 400 from somewhere. And I guess that will be the last item then. Can we go in that house? I hardly even noticed it was there. Yeah, we can. Animal villager. Oh, no, 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 no. I burnt my vegan keto peppermint dark chocolate brownies. Okay. Uh, good for you. Can I do anything? I didn't even notice your house existed, and that's all you have to say. Fair enough. Let's keep going. We're back outside again. Welcome to Animal Village. Uh, I'm going to stand up, I think. My back's aching a bit. Uh, I get to show off my cool t-shirt. For a second. The next thing I want is a treadmill so I can walk while I'm at the desk as well. Uh, where are we going? Hey, we found another hut. Is he going to be on, going on about peppermint cookies as well? I like to live a solitary life. That's why I live away from other people. Uh, I mean other animals. Okay. Yeah, in the chest, you found 50 any. Well, that paid for the health upgrade. Where am I going? I'm being funneled around. Smarty the pig. The customer service here stinks, but the mud is pretty good. Jeetin the pig. You should try some of this gloop. <laughs> Tenmaru. Hey, that's the guy's cat. Your Ito Sensei's cat. I'd better get you home. Safe and sound. You got the lost cat. Drop him off at Junji Ito's place. Sometime. Herb the pig. At night I hear strange noises. Oh no. I just found a bunch of pigs and stole their cat. Willem Fumble. Welcome to the pig farm lifestyle resort. We have all kinds of premium luxury cleansing amenities. Why not visit our happy customers at the Wellbeing Barn? Are they the guys back there that were just complaining? Hopefully they didn't pay too much for that mud bath. Okay, let's go back here again. I suppose I need to go back and give the guy his cat. Is that the next thing to do? Ooh, maybe not just yet. Let's see what's in here. Got another health upgrade. Nice. I kind of want to go down there just to see if there's anything there. No. Nope. Hey, where are we? These holes in the floor remind me so much of Link's Awakening. And another health upgrade. Where are we now? Just before going back into the village. Oh, nice. That comes back out there. So, now we need to remember where that haunted house is. Or, we can go upstairs in the library and give the TV to the anime club. Let's go and do that. Who wanted it? No way, Hime. You did it. You got us a new anime viewing setup. Once you finish your quest, let's watch anime together. I can't wait. Yippee! Oh, and I didn't forget, here's your brand new membership card. 
got the Anime Club membership card as proof of your unwavering love of anime. Now all we need is a DVD player. Oh well, I'm sure one will show up. Sure, if I find one. I want to watch anime spin. Hi, Hime, how's the quest going? It's going very well. So, in uh, episode 50, I think he's already said all that before. Wow, that's a nice TV. A flat screen? I don't even know what that is. Bear in mind that this is taking place in 1999. Yes, an anime DVD, way to go. DVD's the future, they'll never be obsolete. New Crunchy City is still surrounded by forest. Ah! I didn't mean to put a bomb down there. Whoops. I hope I didn't just blow someone up. Let's see what she has to say now. Feel free to read the books. Now we need to go in here and give the guy his cat back. And let's see what happens after that. And there's his other cat, Tonchi. Oh, is that Tenmaru? I think I hear him. Here he is, what a cheeky boy. Thank you, Hime, here's your reward. You've got the skeleton key. Despite the name, it can only open a single specific door. I found the key far to the northeast when looking for Tenmaru. Maybe you can find a use for the key. I think there's something strange in my bedroom. If you go past, just be careful of the light switch. Thank you for helping out, I found the key. I, I found the key far to the northeast. Let's see on the map. Okay, we can get the train back over there. But let's see if anything happens now that we've actually helped him in this room. Apart from that weird ghost thing that keeps popping up. Nothing? There must be some purpose to that. Unless it's a reference to something. No idea. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. So, I guess, go back on the train. Or, no, I've already been over there and covered everything there, I think. Yeah, let's see if there's anything else to do with the mall, because we didn't properly explore this last time. Monsters came in and stole our supplies. The mall is basically closed. You can't get anime, TV, DVDs anymore. Yes, yeah, so that's where I found out that the mouse had the TV. Maybe I have done everything in here. Let's just double check as I've made the effort to come inside. Is that something? No. Nope. I see you've studied the blade. Oh no, not that guy again. Yeah, there's nothing else to do in here. Alright, let's head back outside. And enjoy this music while I try and find the train station again. Uh, not that way. Oh, there it is. Alright, so let's go to the northeast and see where we can use the skeleton key. I presume this is the right stop. I love that little jingle when you arrive at the at the station. Have I been all around here? Oh, I haven't been up here. This is a new area. There's a ghost. The 
are several ghosts. Okay, well, it looks like there's a dungeon entrance on the next square on the right. There it is. Oh yeah, I remember before actually it said that there was a skeleton sign above it. Alright, we are on the next dungeon. Here we go. Always go to the right first. That's what I always do. You obtained a key. Nice and easy start. I wonder if the difficulty ramps up as the dungeons progress. Oh yeah, I forgot I've got the new uh, bow and arrow. Should we try and use it? It's a bit slow. What's that? I think I need to use a bomb on it, maybe? I've only got one. Mm, no. I wasted my only bomb. At the break of dawn, our overlord travels north to meet his people. Is that a hint? Uh, we have a spam message, and for some reason OBS doesn't like the reunion. There we go, they've gone. How's everyone doing this evening? Is anyone playing anything in the background? Or are you all just relaxing? Or is it even the evening, wherever you are in the world? This bit with these slimes kind of reminds me of the GBA homebrew game Anguna, or DS homebrew game, that was like very, very prevalent in the uh, early 2000s. I know there's probably maybe other games that slimes are also in, but for some reason it always reminds me of that, that first opening dungeon. So I used to play that intro stage all the time on my R4 card on the DS. Right, we have another riddle. Before noon, our overlord travels south to survey his lands. Let's do the screenshot thing. Because I don't remember what I said about the other one. Something about before dawn, he goes to the south, maybe? I got a key. Shoot that. I think my dog's getting restless. He might need the toilet. I'll be back in just a minute. I might go and grab myself a drink and head to the toilet myself as well. So bear with me, guys. I'll be back in ten, maybe. Right.
Bum, bum, bum. I'm back. And I have tea. In a very faded Wonder Boy cup. I think you can only still just about make it out at this point. Alright, where were we? Something about looking east, something about looking west. Fun fact about tea breaks, my podcast was originally going to be called Retro Breaks Tea Party. I don't know where that name came from. I also find it weird that you can just walk across the water in this game. Does anyone else feel like this is a bit uh, strange? In most games that it would block you from doing that. Alright, let's see what this one says. At night, our overlord travels west in tireless duty to his people. Let's get a screenshot. So... Uh, okay, and I guess this is going to be the other direction. Afternoon, our overlord travels east to spread his benevolence. Okay. So what does that actually mean? There's a random tree. Uh, does the time of day change throughout this dungeon, maybe? You open the chest. You obtained a key. Well, I didn't have to do anything to get it. In something with this tray. Uh, shall I? I guess it doesn't really matter, but we can do that at least. It doesn't like it. Was that skeleton hiding that sword? Weird, there's a lot of empty rooms in this dungeon. I got another key! <clears throat> oh, maybe the combination is just like morning, evening, afternoon, and then. Morning, afternoon, evening, and night. Like that, maybe. You just have to move them in that particular order. Maybe. Two random mushrooms. Oh, there we go. There's a the last key. I feel like they ran out of time to design half of this dungeon. It feels a little bit sparse compared to some of the other ones. Oh, this was the other one. At the break of dawn... Oh, wrong button. Start and down. At the break of dawn, our overlord travels north. So that's probably the first thing in the combination. Um, so what is it? North, south, east and west? Why are bats carrying donuts? I don't think I would eat it. Would you trust a donut that came from a bat? Are we getting back to the main room? Slowly. Gone round in a circle. Oh, 
How do I get back to that main room? Why is there no map for the dungeons? Ah! Gotta go all the way around again. There's not even any secrets to find. Oh, is that what happened last time I went through the stairs twice? No? No, it's just weirdly animated. I guess this is the last piece of the puzzle. There we go, we have all four of them now. Maybe I was supposed to go around here. Nope. I don't remember how to get back. I'm not going that way. I went that way last time, I think. Just trying to go up here. This is it. Here we go. Now we have two more keys. And... Uh... Memories? Screenshots? Okay, here we go. So, at the break of dawn, the Overlord travels north. And then... Before noon... So, north, south, east, west. That is all it is. That's all it was. We did it. Let's get back and save. Alright, now let's see what this boss has to offer. It's Andros. This boss looks like the big boss of the place. The Underlord. Halt! Who goes there? I am the Underlord. Benevolent ruler of the Kingdom of Hills. Hi, I'm Hime. Wait, are you working with the big, the big bad bug? Where is it hiding? The bug roused me from my long slumber and entrusted me with the key to its hiding place. I have slept so long in this crypt, my kingdom has crumbled to dust. But perhaps the bug has granted my kingdom a second chance. The corruption has brought this crypt right beside a city. Perhaps new subjects to bring under my righteous rule. On behalf of New Crunchy City, I'd like to politely decline. I need to undo the corruption and get the city out of this mess. Mr. Underlord, please hand over the key to the bug's hiding place. I must also decline, for I am a noble warrior. I owe the bug a debt for re resurrecting me. But defeat me in combat, and I may be forced to reconsider. Hey, for a big boss, you're a nice guy. Bring it on. Very well. On guard! Maybe this is a good chance to use the uh, bow and arrow. Ah! Oh my god. Oh, 
Oh no, I'm out of arrows. And I'm out of bombs. All I can do is jump. I don't trust that hand at all. Ah, go away. Maybe I can jump out the way. Or jump into it. Whoops. Oh, have we done it? Impressive young one, I admit defeat. Hey, I'm not young, I'm a hundred and something. <laughs> hey, nothing compared to my millennia. Phew, that was a tough battle. Now it's time for you to uphold your end of the bargain. Very well, take the key. I won't be seeing you again, young warrior, very, very soon. Now, where is this key? The boss left something behind. You found the Dream Casino key! The bug was hiding at the Dream Casino? That's right next to Salty the Witch's house. I need to hurry to the Dream Casino and stop the bug from wreaking havoc. We did it! One more dungeon down. Let's save. And then... I don't know if there's a... Uh, if there's a train station up here. But we need to go... to... the place with the big ladder. In the desert. If we can get to it this way. I don't remember exactly where it is, but it's somewhere in the desert. I think. Not there. That was the oasis at one point. I feel like it's on... Oh! Is it this? No. It's actually a smaller um, ladder than that. Let's see what it says. Welcome to Beach Town. I know it's not here. I still only have 249. I thought it would have a lot more than that. There is a secret house over there. I wonder how you get to that. Is there a secret exit? No. You know what they say, never meet your heroes. I guess the same goes for Legendary Treasure. For anyone who joined later, that guy asked to get a very specific game, and I went to find it, and it was, turned out it was a copy of a game that he already had, and he was very upset. But in exchange, he gave me the jumping shoes for some reason. That's a fair trade. I'd say it's a fair trade. Well, I have no idea where this casino entrance was. It's somewhere in the desert. Anyone watching? Do you remember from that long ago? I could have sworn it was on this side. Oh yeah. Well, I could go and get some... Uh, uh, I don't know how I managed to get screenshots easy before. I'm going to go and buy some bombs and see what's in that treasure chest. I'm guessing uh, another health up. I think that's the shop if I remember right. Yeah. Oh, 
I wonder what that's for. Arrow, capa arrow capacity upgrade. Cool. Let's get some arrows as well while we're at it then. Oh, that was only four bombs? I need to buy two packs? Okay. There we go, we have eight bombs. Oh, I didn't even need to take a screenshot because I know where I'm going. I hope it's something fun in there. Last one. Place your bets. Is it going to be money or health upgrade? Yeah, it is a health upgrade. Ah, I didn't mean to put another bomb down. Oops. It could be a little clearer as to show what you've got equipped. Right, now, where the hell is this um, casino? I could have sworn it was somewhere in the desert. I think it's in the town. I think we've gone too far. Yeah, that takes you back into the uh, forest, corrupted forest. some bits of the forest that I haven't explored apparently. Like the area straight up here. Yeah, somehow I haven't been here. Yay, new stuff. Oh. We need to find two more switches to break through there. Oh, that's... Did I never come in that way? Really? Apparently not. Okay, we haven't been left here either. This is another new screen. How is this bit new, but the next bit isn't? Oh, okay. That explains it. I wasn't able to push things before. So this is also new. Yeah, more new stuff. We've nearly filled out the entire map. Money! That'll pay for the bombs that I just spent. And another new square up here. Was it casino in the desert or was it somewhere else? Okay, what's going on here? I've never seen one of those puzzles where you have to push two up to push something else across. <coughs> Another health upgrade.
been to the animal village. I've already been everywhere in the animal village. <coughs> I just want to go to the casino. How do I get to the casino? Have I been in that house? Maybe I haven't been in here. <coughs> have you been to Willem Fumble's resort? It's to the southeast. I have. It's where all the pigs were rolling around. There's another tiny house. Hello, mind your head on the way in. Actually, on second thought, I don't think you'll fit at all. No, I don't think I will. this casino. I'm literally going to be stumbling around every inch of the game now, trying to find the stairs. I filled out the entire map. So that's pretty impressive, at least. Right, I'm sure... Oh, let's see if there's anything in here. I don't think that door was open. You need the office key. Let's be more methodical with our exploration. Once we get into the desert. <clears throat> right back here again, right back at the start. Well, we get to enjoy the cool music anyway while I'm finding my way around. Apart from here, which sounds like something out of the Twilight Realm from Zelda. Let's try going up here. I didn't mean to do that, but apparently, uh, pressing up. And select at the same time as a save state. Thank God it wasn't a load state. Oh yeah, I forgot. It was really awkward to get over this bit. Don't think there's anything else up here. Oh, that's just the annoying guy that wants some sort of limited edition Gundam model given to him. I'm sure it wasn't up here. Right. Let's go back to the desert, because I think that's the right place. And we can just go through square by square, because I do not have any recollection. I have to be careful and press in select, because the control is very sensitive. Found it. Excellent. Oh, he may. Hello. While you were exploring the crypt, Salty the Witch explained everything to me. So, I'm from a digital world full of forests and adventurers. She said it's called a dungeon crawler. And Salty is from a digital world full of fighting and contests. A fighting game? What is that? I suppose the corruption brought all these worlds together. Well, it's time to face the big boss bug. Good luck, he may. I'll see you on the other side. He may, the Dream Casino is up those stairs. I've seen your deeds through my clairvoyance. And the potion you helped me make has restored my powers. My memories have returned too. 
In my original world, I fought alongside powerful warriors in the Dream Casino. Ronald the Brawler, Dwayne the Bard, my comrades. He may take back our worlds from the bug's corruption. I'll be right behind you. All right, I think we are on the way to the final boss now, guys. Going up to the Dream Casino. And we are inside. Welcome to the Dream Casino. Hi, do I know you from somewhere? Uh, perhaps. I've come to put a stop to to the Y2K bugs plans and save our world from corruption. Oh, and to save anime. You have to let me pass! I will grant you an audience with the bug, but first you have to prove that you have a pure heart and that you really, really love anime. Bring me proof of your love for anime and you may enter. Well, that should be easy. I really love anime, here's the proof. It's my anime membership card. A membership card from the best anime club ever. Good. I was right about you. Yay! Wait, huh? Oh, it's nothing. Please proceed inside. Does he not like anime? Do they have slot machines like Pokemon? Boo! I'm very disappointed. Kleptopatra. <laughs> nice. No fungus. Oh, these are the these are the bosses, or the uh, the statues of the bosses that we fought earlier in the game. Do we have to fight them all again now? The Underlord. I guess this is like a boss rush. Yes. All right. Let's start with the most difficult one. Um, hi, this is awkward. Ah, the young warrior has come. Well, look, I'm contractually obliged to fight you. A soul contract, you see, from when I was resurrected. It's nothing personal. Please defeat me and take out the bug. Then our contract will be null and void and I can find something more fulfilling to do. Guarding a key in a musty basement has left me hollow. Ha! Hollow! I'm a skeleton! I'll just stick to having the jump shoes. I guess the thing is you have to do all of this uh, with one set of health. Uh, jump out of the way! Easy. Ah! I remembered that one went straight back into the middle. Come on! There we go, one down. That wasn't too bad. Thank you, young warrior! I'm free, but my kingdom remains gone. Don't lose hoop. <laughs> Don't lose hoop? <laughs> Don't lose hope, you'll find something. Worry not, I have much to do. How many anime came out while I slept? Hundreds? More? There must be at least one good one amongst them. I will surely find it. Time to get watching. Does he have a Crunchyroll subscription? I'm surprised at the lack of advertising in this game, to be honest, considering it is a, a game about Crunchyroll's mascot. Alright, next one. Hello, anyone home? An intruder in my swamp! Hey, it's you again. Stop picking on my adorable spoilings! I thought you said they weren't adorable! Well, maybe they are. Regardless, you're not getting to the bug. Oh, this one takes ages because you have to wait for him to throw his hand down like that. And yeah, we do need to fight them all back to back. On one uh, health bar. Should be easy. We've done all this before. The only hard bit on this is dodging all these bullets. Which I just proved. Hmm. 
Not doing too badly, though. Surely only a few hits left. Ah! I thought he was going to spit at me. Come on. Do something! Not that. It's taking him so long. Do I need to go on the other side? Okay, yeah, he didn't like that. There we go. Enjoy this epic boss music. Oh my god. I took a lot of hits. Not again, my spallings! Look, if you just leave us alone, I'll drop my plans of world domination. My little swamp is actually quite comfy as it is. Sounds good to me. Maybe I'll pay you a visit sometime. To be honest, I don't like the bug very much anyway. I'm supposed to be in charge, not the bug. Sorry, no fungus. Right, Kleptopatra next. Oh, it's you again! I told you we'd meet again! I demand a rematch! Right, I remember what to do this time at least. Just stay in the corner. And then dodge that. This went from the hardest fight to the easiest. There we go, dead already. Okay, I admit defeat. Maybe this whole Queen of Evil thing isn't working out. Hmm, ever thought about a courier counselling? I'll look into it. So long, Hime. Um, I don't know why she chose counselling, but there you go. Alright, I guess we can go upstairs now. Oh, you can heal between the fights? That feels like cheating. I was... I was... Going to attempt to do it all in one go. Well, Hime, your quest ends here. I hope my assistance was of use to you on your journey. Oh, I get it now. You're the train guy! I am a creature of the corruption. But I couldn't let the bug destroy technology. I love anime too. So I used my knowledge of corruption to create and run the train network between worlds. Cool, right? Yes, the coolest. Hey, when this is over, you should come by the anime club. We have the best viewing setup. And we have another save point right next to the last one. Oh no, here we go. Final boss. There you are, the bug. Why did you unleash corruption upon New Crunchy City? Why did you put people from so many worlds in danger? And I haven't forgotten. Why did you interrupt our anime viewing? Y2K bug. Executing exposition routine. The corruption spreads through technology. The corruption shall destroy technology. All else is collateral. All else is expendable. The corruption will purge the analogue realm of technology. And the world will return to how it was, untarnished. Wait, you want to destroy technology? Affirmative. Technology is impure. The world must return to better days. Sounds like some people I know. The corruption will purify the world. You destroyed our DVD player. And you don't care about the mess you've made. The worlds you've fractured. The people you've endangered. Negative. You are expendable. Technology has come too far. Analog purity must be achieved. I don't know why I think he sounds like a Dalek, but there you go. Threat to narrative detected. Executing emergency protocols. If you destroy all technology, <gasps> anime is doomed! I'm going to stop you right here. Increasing corruption output. Corruption output at 1,999%! At 2,000 initiating flight routines. Okay, what's going on? It's getting away. He may take my power. Fly after it and stop it from wreaking havoc. I don't know if I can do this. 
Of course you can! You're an adventurer, just like me! Take my sword, it fires magical projectiles. Okay. Are we gonna have a shoot em up section? Go, Hime! I believe! Okay, this is for you, this is for everyone, and this is for anime! Uh, what am I aiming at? Okay, kind of a shoot em up section, but not really. Which is weird, considering GB Studio has a shoot em up gameplay style built in. Um, it also seems extremely easy. Am I missing something? Apparently this is what the Y2K bug looked like, if anyone was interested. Did we do it? Is that phase one? Sorry, that's just phase one. What have we done? We got a computer? Hooray! We got a computer! That's it. Well, we got the DVD player, I guess. Woohoo! Now we can all watch anime together. Is that it? Produced by Poppy Works for Crunchyroll. There we go. What did you guys think of Hime's quest? Apart from the very easy... Oh, Max Oakland was involved. No way. And Toxa. Okay, there is a good... Good set of people working on this. Now I understand. Brett? Why are they confused about Brett? What did you guys think? I thought it was fantastic overall. What an incredibly well made game for the Game Boy in GB Studio. I am so impressed. I wish there was more to it. How long was it? Three hours? About three hours long. Incredible. Really, really enjoyed that. I think you can uh, buy it on Crunchyroll's website, even though it was limited. Run. Let me just double check actually, I don't want to tell lies. But I did see someone on YouTube asking me earlier where it came from. Thank you for playing, my pleasure. Oh, here we go. Uh, let me just check to see whether it is available to buy. It says pre-order for Game Boy on their website. Oh, yeah, it is. It is for sale. You can actually, if anyone's interested. If anyone's interested, there you go. It is still for sale on their website. So anyway, let's, uh, let's see what happens after the credits. After the fateful events of 1999, the corruption began to slowly heal. As a result, the various worlds drifted apart once again. Hime spent some quality time with her anime club friends. Alma wandered off to a location unknown. Salty the Witch joined the Salty Illuminati. Okay. Junji Ito released a new anime series based on his work. Wait, wasn't that scheduled for 2023? Don't miss it! Okay, there's a little bit of uh, advertising going on there. Kleptopatra became a successful beachwear model. Gargo kept hanging out in Hime's basement, but paid his rent on time! Oh my god! The good ending we all needed. Willem Fumble died in a valiant attempt to defend his resort from aliens. What the hell? No Fungus started a swamp resort to replace Willem Fumbles. The Big Cheese became a TV chef, combined in his love of food and TV. <laughs> Amazing, I love it. <laughs> the Underlord became addicted to MMOs and isekai anime. Jeetan the pig didn't really do anything noteworthy. Why is he here? You might be wondering how all this was possible if the world separated. Well, the porter kept the train network running between worlds. 
Hime and her friend's life in New Crunchy City was peaceful once again, but not uneventful. Hime's quest may have come to an end, but her adventure continues. There we go. I wonder if there's any new game plus or anything. Should we see what happens? Uh, just take it back to the end. Well, there we go. That was that was Hime's quest. Can I go on camera and keep you guys? Can you hear me? I think I've lost the chat, but you can still see me. So, anyway, I guess I can take the analog pocket out. That was Hime's quest. There it is. I'll show you the cartridge, as you didn't see that already. Really nice. I love the colour of it as well. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me tonight. I honestly had an absolute blast playing through this. There's the game. There is actually um, a poster in there as well. So I'll show you guys that before we head off for the night. There you go. I love the artwork too. I don't know who made the artwork, but I think it's really, really cool. Kind of classic anime style. And of course, there's also a fun color instruction book, as every good game has. And I'll give you a quick look at the back of the box as well, if you wanted to see what was on the back. There we go. So really nice packaging. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back next week to check out some of the GB Game Jam games that I'll be doing the judging for. So look forward to that. I'll put something on Twitter, on YouTube, or X, or whatever you want to call it. So I'll put something on there, and I'll see you all. Guys. I'll see you guys next week. And stay tuned to my YouTube channel because coming on Friday is the next part of my Wonder Swan video. So anyway, have a great evening, everyone. I'll see you all again very soon. Goodbye.